We're back. What? Tell everybody that we're back. Uh, you failed. <laughs> I failed. <laughs> no. I, uh. Majorly. Huh? Majorly. Majorly. Devin says I majorly failed. How's it going? Hi, Kens. <laughs> what are you doing? Do you want to say hi to everybody, too? Right. Oh, she's going to get real personal. <laughs> She was going to get like right in your face. So on today's agenda, the biggest thing is making the yearly salt dough ornaments that I always make with the girls. Last year it was cinnamon ornaments, so I did like a little twist on it. But this year I am doing the actual salt dough ornaments that we do every single year. And I always do a special one for the girls' first Christmas. Like for Carly and Kinley, I have their footprint in a salt dough ornament. And I don't know where it's at because when we moved to this house, like a bunch of our Christmas Christmas stuff just went missing. Don't know where it's at. I have this beautiful sign that says peace. Don't know where it's at either. And I was like, Devin, where did our Christmas stuff go? And he's like, I don't know. So I don't, I don't know. Can't do that though until Carly comes home from school and that's not going to be for a while yet. Also, I need to update you guys on the house a little bit and what my plans are for it. I need to give you like a house update in general because one of my subscribers asked for one and I was like, I'm going to do one. I just need to figure out like when to squeeze this in. It's going to be squeezed in today. And also, I'm practicing parallel parking today. <laughs> I like... I haven't told you guys about this at all because I'm embarrassed, but uh, yeah, my license expired and I need to get a new license, so I need to test for it all over again. I'm like really embarrassed to even admit that, <laughs> but it just expired. <laughs> So now I get to redo the whole thing. Hopefully I will do that this Friday. Oh my god, no I can't. Oh my god, no I can't. Okay, speaking of Friday, Nationwide called me today. If you're brand new to my channel, you've never seen me before, you don't know what's going on, uh, Kinley has Horner Syndrome. We took her to Nationwide, which is a children's hospital in Columbus, Ohio, and we thought we were just going for a consultation, and they instead admitted her, ran a bunch of tests, and we cleared out all of the big, bad, life-threatening stuff. So now they're wanting to do a follow-up appointment because they still want to see and find out what's causing her symptoms. So that's what they called me today to schedule, and she she was like, can you come this Thursday at like 2.30? And I'm like, no, my husband's on midnight shift. By the time we get there, get back, Devin will get like three hours of sleep. I can't be doing that. No, that's not fair to him. So she's like, okay, I'll, I'll call you back because she wants to squeeze all of her um, patients in before the holiday break. And I'm like, okay. So she was, you know, asking me what day would, would be good. And I said Friday. So she's going to call me and maybe we'll be going to Columbus on Friday. So no, I can't test for my license. Oh crap. I need to tell Devin this. He's been asleep during that whole point of uh, that whole part of this today what is it you like really want to take a nap but you don't want to take a nap you're like flaking me out here I don't know if you want to take one or not are you sleepy no well that's awfully funny because like two minutes ago you said you were you just want to sleep on the couch and mommy won't let you sleep on the couch because when sissy comes home she's gonna wake you up and then you won't get hardly a nap Okay, I don't think you care. All right, uh, house update, house update. This is a present for my mom. In case anyone, like, is wondering because you saw that in a vlog, this is a Christmas present to me from my mommy. I'm going to have to eventually put it underneath the tree. <laughs> I just, I'm hesitant to because I don't know with all the girls' Christmas presents how that's going to fit underneath there. So I'm hesitant to put it under there just yet, so I might just leave it right there. <laughs> But that's my Christmas gift from my mommy. Probably the only gift I will open up on Christmas, but that's okay. So in here, it's a little bit of a mess because I've been trying to clean it to do what it is that I'm about to tell you. I want to clear out as much of this room as I can because I want to make this kind of like a playroom now. Because Andy and Carly and Kinley are getting a big Christmas gift, the one they share together, and I want to put it in this room because I can't put it upstairs because Andy is little and I don't want her to be upstairs in her room by herself. That just makes me very uneasy. Down here, I can see her and all three girls could play with it 
together instead of it going upstairs and only Carly and Kenley being able to play with it because Andy can't be upstairs by herself, even with a gate. I don't know. It just makes me really nervous. I don't know. So I, this table needs to come down. And I'm probably going to put it up against a wall or something. All of this needs to stay because the bad thing about this house is there's like no storage. The downstairs basement floods, so you can't put anything on the floor downstairs in the basement. We have like zero closets. We have more like cubby holes. I should show you like what our so-called closets are upstairs. But anyway, we have like no storage in this house. So this right here needs to like stay the same. So this will all stay there. I'll move the... Uh, basketball hoop to somewhere else so I'm thinking maybe of taking the table down and just putting it against this wall and this whole like section of the room will just be like storage oh god it feel I feel bad that it has to be but I mean I, we just don't have storage so this will be broken down this table will this window unit needs to go downstairs in the basement and be set on a shelf because there are lots of shelves and one big long table downstairs but there's not like anywhere to put anything on the floor because the basement floods we got brand new stockings for the girls and these are mine and Devin's that we've had for years but these are monogrammed there's a one a for Andy and a K for Carly and an M for McKinley <laughs> who is like <laughs> curious so I, I don't even know I want to put them on this mantle so bad but the Christmas trees in there. <laughs> it would just be awkward for the stockings to be right here and the Christmas tree to be over there. So I don't know. I might get stocking holders and put the stockings like on the mantle in there, but there's like not a whole lot of room to do that. I don't know. We'll see. So this is Devin's like work clothes. So this can't be moved because it, uh, I don't even know how to go into that. You know what? I'm not going to go into that. Anyway, Devin's clothes have to be down here in this corner for reasons that I don't want to get into because it's annoying. Basically, I've tried to put them upstairs in our room and they've just gotten flung everywhere. So yeah, they're going to stay right there. This I will set up once this is gone. So Oh my god, I've done almost a four full minute, four minutes just talking about this room. I feel so bad. Okay, this room. I have found a use for this table. Yay, Kristen. I originally was going to have this broken down. Devin and I considered it, which is why you see these big long notches. Not that one. Notches in our table. This was our consideration of breaking it down. And I was like, no, 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 Devin, we might use it. You never know. We might use it. So... What do you know? We ended up using it. I really like it in this room because it fits, number one. And number two, I can do what I want with this room. <laughs> and we can all sit at it. I mean, Devin can't, but Devin's rarely probably, well, no, you know what? He's never home to eat dinner with us, poor guy. And on weekends, we're so busy. I mean, we just never get to sit down at a table together all as a family. So I am using this camping chair. I know you guys probably saw this in our uh, Christmas season evening routine but I'm using this camping chair for now because two of our Chris Christmas two of our dining room table chairs broke because honestly this set is older than crap and it's breaking down and it, we just really need oh my god we need a new dining room table set so bad but this is like temporary because next year I want a new dining room table so bad and these chairs will be gone and this table will be gone and Kristen will be singing hallelujah because I want a new table. As far as house updates in general, uh, <laughs> we're like, how do I talk about this? Uh, basically, Devin, I just don't give a crap. Like, if he wants to fix up the house, he will. If he doesn't, he doesn't. We just recently found out that we got lied to, and he's not retiring in this house. So, that's why he's reluctant to fix everything, because he's just collecting the rent to collect the rent, and he's not actually going to retire here. So... <laughs> Oh my god, I'm going to get aggravated. Don't get aggravated. Don't get aggravated. Anyway, so because he's very reluctant to fix things, uh, and Devin and I are wanting to buy a house next year, that's like one of our, you know what, I'm going to make a New Year's resolution video. But anyway, we really want to buy a house next year. We're so tired of renting. We want our own place. I never thought I would buy a house up here in the upper state 
of West Virginia, but hey, here I am. <laughs> so we're just going to suffer. We're just going to suffer through it and deal with it. And hopefully next year, probably, probably late spring, early summer, June, I don't know, something like that, then we'll try to buy a house. And maybe, hopefully, let's cross our fingers, shall we? We won't have to deal with this place anymore. And I'll just deal with it until then. Okay, I need to put these car seats in the car because I am practicing parallel parking today. I am so bad at parallel parking, you guys. Oh my God. Like, seriously, it's really bad. <laughs> I, I can drive. I had my license. I got my license when I was 18. But I avoid parallel parking like the plague. I will, blo I will park two blocks away if it means that I don't have to parallel park. Oh my God, I hate it. I just, I can't do it. But I need to practice today because I need to take my tests all over again. So I need know how to do it because <laughs> there's going to be someone testing me on if I can do it. So that means the car seats need to go in the car. Does anyone else hate putting car seats in cars? Oh my god, I always feel like I've been wrestling like elephants or something. Oh my god. It should not be this hard. <laughs> yeah, that's my clumsy kid. <laughs> that would happen. <laughs> it's okay, I understand. Yeah, I will. Yeah. You're welcome. Bye. <laughs> it's picture day today for Carly at school. And Carly... <laughs> slipped on the bleachers and apparently it hit her head. <laughs> I'm like, that's my girl. That's that's my kid. <laughs> Mama's girl through and through. <laughs> Would you look at how much better this looks? I love how we replace a big table for a small one, but <laughs> the big present will go probably right in the center. And then you and Sissy and Andy get to play in this room and have fun. I'm sorry I can't remove Daddy's clothes, but it is what it is. And this little section over here is our storage, but it is what it is. <laughs> You'll still have fun in this room, I promise. No. No. <laughs> Are you trying to wash dishes, Kins? <laughs> Are you trying to wash dishes for Mommy? No. No, it looks yeah. like it. You're the sweetest kid. You know it. The sweetest baby. Love you. Are you getting hungry? Guys, guys, it is 2.52 p.m. In exactly one hour and eight minutes, I have to get Devin up so he can take me to practice parallel parking. And in about 40-ish minutes, Sissy will be home from school. So I've... I figured we should probably eat something, yeah? Yeah. I am so bad about having soup for lunch, like, all the time. But this time, you're going to be the one having the soup, and Mommy is going to have a salad for once. Shocker. What? I know you're hungry. That's why I'm fixing you something to eat. Yeah. And some juice, because yeah. you keep asking for juice. Yes. Yeah. And boom goes the dynamite. What do you know? I ended up with soup anyway. Because <laughs> I couldn't give the whole can to you. And you didn't even eat what I did give you hardly at all. So, well, you know, I ended up with soup anyway. Even though I'm not eating, like, vegan anymore because it was just getting too hard, I will still always buy this vegan ranch because I just like it better. I don't know why. <laughs> it's really good. So, soup and salad. Yummy. So what happened at school today, Carly? Yeah. I see that. What happened at school today? Mm. You don't want to tell me? Friends. I know you hung out with your friends. What did you do? Did you fall off the bleachers? You need help? You did? Your teacher said there's no mark or bump or anything, so that's good. 
Did you have fun? Yeah. Look. Look at the dining room. Look. Look in here. It's different, huh? Yeah, it's <laughs> Would you like for this to be a playroom instead? Yeah. You, yeah? You think that's a good idea? Uh -huh. Thank you, Mommy. I think it is, too, because Thank it's you, kind Mommy. of a big room. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. You got six room. You want to go play in your room? Alrighty. That was easy. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Andy Mae! Andy Mae! Andy Mae! Gonna feed Andy and get going. Francis! Did you wake up? Finally! You did. That's my phone, but you're happy now? Okay, let's get this show on the road. Cricket, get the bags. Okay, okay, let's get this show on the road. Cricket, get the bags. Let's move it, Heffa. We're back. What? Tell everybody that we're back. Uh, you failed. <laughs> I failed. <laughs> no. I, uh... Majorly. Huh? Majorly. Majorly. That says I majorly failed. I didn't. I did... Okay, I did fail the first couple of times, I will I'll admit. But I did alright towards the end. <laughs> He's silent. He's like, Miss Allie, are you ready for us to mix all the ornaments? Are you ready? Yeah. Huh? Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? Oh, you're such a good girl. You're the best girl. Yes, you are the best girl in the world. Do you want to have fun with Mommy Kent? Now that you have your blanket? Yeah. <gasps> you want to have fun too? It's going to be fun. You're going to love, love it. it. You decided that you want to? Yeah. Yay. <laughs> Woohoo. Hey, guess this you can have one. No. Yes, you can. You want to pick out your favorite ones? Which ones do you want to use? Um, that's a lot of them. I had to filter through all 101 cookie cutter sets. That one. You want that one? That's a pretty heart. So we'll do this one. Which else? What else? Um, that one. Another heart. My God. So I guess we're doing a bunch of hearts. <laughs> what else? That one. The circle? Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're boring today. <laughs> The butterfly, that's pretty. Oh, good and butterfly. That one. The dog bone for Ellie, that's very sweet. That one. And the flower, we're picking everything but Christmas, like everything. That one, that one. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six. I guess we'll do. How many do I want to do? Is that enough? One, two, three, four. Five, six. Is, uh, I think this might be enough. And another heart. It's a double heart. Double. See, there's there's two hearts together. Ugh, I guess we're doing a ton of hearts. <laughs> you know what? Let's pick ten. A Christmas one! Yes! Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's ten. We're doing a boot. Okay, all done. All done. We're gonna get rid of the other cookie cutters because we can't do all of them. Cookie cutter. Okay? Sleigh bells ring, are you listening? In the lane, snow is glistening. A beautiful sight, we're happy tonight. Walking in a winter wonderland. Gone away is the bluebird, here to stay is the new bird. He sings a love song as we go along, walking in our window in the land. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. Since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Doesn't show signs of stopping, and I've brought some corn for popping. 
Lights are turned way down low. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. When we finally kiss goodnight, how I hate going out in the storm. But if you really hold me tight, all the way home I'll be warm. Really can't stay. It's cold outside. I got to go away. It's cold outside. The evening has been so very nice. Mother will start to worry. Father will be pacing the floor. So, really, I'd rather scurry. Maybe just a half a drink more. The neighbors might think. Say, what's in this drink? I wish I knew how. To break the spell, yeah. I got to say no, no, no. The bad thing about Saldo is that it takes forever for it to bake. Like two and a half hours. Well, really, it's like two, two, like three hours. But I'm doing two and a half. So I don't have time to take them out of the oven, let them dry, and then we paint them. That's not happening tonight because the girls go to bed at 9 and it's, I don't even know what time it is. It's at least 7.38. So I need to edit this vlog also. So I'm going to have to let you guys go. If you want to subscribe to my other channel, there's a link down below. If you want to follow me on social media, there are links also down below. And I'll see you guys later in a new vlog. Bye guys. Bye guys.